In this video, we're going to solve this differential equation, uh, first order linear differential equation, using a, a method of, uh, it's called an integrating factor. Um, first, let's show why we can't do this using separation of variables. Uh, remember that separation of variables only works when we have an equation that can be written in the form dy, in this case dx, that's our independent variable, equals some function of x times a function of y. So if we were to take this and solve for the dy dx alone, we get dy dx equals e to the 4x plus 3y. And what we have here is a function of x and a function of y, but rather than being multiplied, they're being added. So that indicates to us that we're not going to be able to use separation of variables. Um, some of you might think we could have gone back here and multiplied by dx on both sides and that we'd be ready to go, but remember that if you multiply by dx on both sides, you have to multiply this entire side by dx, and what you'd end up with would be dy minus 3y dx equals e to the 4x dx. And... Um, you're going to run into a problem. You can add this to the other side try to, and then try to get the 3y back to this side, but it's just not going to work. The algebra just won't go. So um, instead, we need to use this method of, of an integrating factor. So let's, let's see how that works. All right. So let's, uh, let's go back to the differential equation itself, which is dy dx minus 3y equals e to the 4x. Now, uh, when we want to use the integrating factor method, we're going to um, use our um, formula sheet. Okay, so let's take a look at what the formula sheet tells us. Um, it, it gives us some directions here for solving something that looks like this. Okay, so we got to have something that looks like that. Um, this is a first order linear equation. Um, this would be our, right here, no, one would be our a1 of x. This is our a0 of x, and this would be the f of x from the um, form for a linear differential equation. And so if we look in our, in our equation, it's important to figure out what p and q are. For us, p of x is just negative 3. Okay, it's just the thing in front of the y, so that would be negative 3. Oops, let's get that on the screen. And then uh, a q of x would be the e to the 4x. q of x equals e to the 4x. It's not really important that we identify q, but it'll be very important that we know what p is because you can see that uh, the first step in using this method is to compute this thing that we call u, which is the integral of p to of x. So we're going to compute u. u equals the integral of p of x dx, um, which in this case is negative integral of negative 3 dx, which is just negative 3x. Okay. And it turns out that when we're using this method, we don't need the plus c, so you don't need to worry about it this, that at this point. Uh, but our directions tell us to compute u equaling integral of p of x dx and then multiply both sides of the equation by e to the u. So in this case, we're going to multiply both sides of our original equation up here by e to the negative 3x. So, um, what we do is we'll take this guy, let's see, let's do that um, over here. So we have e to the minus 3x times dy dx minus uh, 3y e to the minus 3x equals um, e to the 4x times e to the minus 3x. All right, so we found u, multiplied both sides by e to the u. Now the next thing our directions tell us is that the left side becomes the derivative of e to the uy with respect to x. OK, 
Okay, so the left side, let's see if we can get all that in here. So the left side becomes uh, e to the u, which is e to the minus 3x. So we have d of e to the minus 3x times uh, y. over dx. And the reason for that is something that we'll go over in class and you can also find it in section 3.3 .3 of the book. The right hand side um, stays as is or in this case we can simplify it. That's We add the exponents in this case so that just comes out to be e to the x. Now once we're here we then multiply both sides by dx so we have d of e to the minus 3x times y equals e to the x dx and now we integrate both sides okay, so we don't need our formula sheet anymore or our directions that tell us what to do so when we integrate here we have the integral of d of e to the minus 3x times y equals the integral of e to the x dx now remember, the integral of dx is x, integral of dt equals t, integral of d theta equals theta. Of course, these should all have plus c's on them. But the point is that the integral of d something is just that something. So the integral of d of e to the minus 3xy is just e to the minus 3x y. And that's plus a constant, so let's put that in. Sorry about that. So that's e to the minus 3x y plus a constant. We're going to quit subscripting our constants at this point. Um, over here the integral of e to the x is just e to the x plus c. So these are different constants, um, but we would then subtract this constant from this one and we'd end up with e to the minus 3x times y equals e to the x plus c, where this c is this one minus this one. So we're getting somewhere, but we still have a little bit to go. So what we need to do now is we'd like to figure out what y is, which means we've got to get rid of this e to the minus 3x. So if we multiply both sides by e to the 3x, That'll do the trick for us. Okay, so let's see, I need to get a little more room here. So I take e to the 3x, the positive 3x, times both sides of this guy. And when we do, e to the 3x plus e to the minus, or times e to the minus 3x, we add the exponents and we get an exponent of 0. So we get e to the 0, which is 1. And so we just get y on this side. This will be e to the 4x, and then be careful, the e to the 3x gets multiplied by our constant. So we have plus c e to the 3x. So that's an example of how we go about solving a differential equation uh, using an integration fact, integrating factor. So let's, let's just recap what happened here. Um, our original equation was this guy. We identify this right here as the thing called P on our formula sheet. And the formula sheet tells us that we need to define U as the integral of P. So we have the integral of negative 3 dx, which is negative 3x. Again, we don't need the constant on this thing. Then we take e to the U, so e to the U is e to the minus 3x and we multiply that by both sides of our original differential equation. So we have e to the minus 3x on the left side, which I went ahead and distributed to each part, and we have e to the minus 3x on the right side. Then what we do is we tidy up the right side if possible, like this, and the left side will always collapse down into d of e to the u times y, always, uh, with respect to dx or over dx. Then we multiply both sides by dx, integrate both sides, integral of d of this stuff is just that stuff plus a constant. Over here, integral of e to the x, in this case e to the x plus c. 
And then remember, um, at the end, we need to get rid of this guy, and we'll do it by multiplying by e to the plot positive 3x, giving us this solution here.